kick the dust up. DOC Silver Stacker here, and I have some local coin shop pickups. And then after this video, I mean after this, sorry, after this clip of my local coin shop pickups, if you want to still stay tuned, there will be a Loot Crate unboxing at the end. But let's get to what I picked up. I picked up. Didn't pay that price. A 1942 Denver Washington Quarter. So we'll go ahead and put this in our book. I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible because I feel I lose the attention of the audience whenever it goes so long. But this guy did a really good job. So we'll find the 1942 Denver spot, which is right here. And we'll throw it in our book. Next up, whoops, not that one. Next up is a 1943 San Francisco Washington Quarter. We'll go bada bing bada boom. I think this is the most you've ever seen of my arm. Sometimes they don't want to fit in there. This video is a disaster. Uh oh. Maybe. Because if you push too hard on these things, it'll break the book. I want to break the book. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just having technical difficulties. As in, I couldn't get it in the book. Luckily, I did not punch a hole in it. Next up is a 1944 Denver. The mint mark will be on the back. And it's below the reef. As you can see right there. Again, guys, I just buy low grades, or if I get like a bag of junk silver, I go through it and look, and then I pull it out and put them in these books. I don't know why I'm having such difficulties with these, but you would think Whitman would get with the program and have it figured out, but I guess not. You guys are probably getting a video and a comedy at the same time. There we go. Next up is a 1945S. Boom, there it is. Right 
It's not good doing it on the car. Then we have a 1945D for Denver. I'll be back again, guys. I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Next up is a 1946 San Francisco for estimate mark. Yeah, I didn't pay that price. Sorry about that. Bump the tripod. Probably ruining the coin, but it's all good. There we go. Got that one in. Then nineteen forty six Denver. Finally, the glove did not stick with the coin. Next up is a regular 1947. Boom, Philadelphia, no mint mark. Uh, I think it's flipped over. Nope. All right, guys. This book is book one, 1932 to 1947. As you can tell, it's coming along. I just need eight more to finish this book. Already got the hard ones, the 32S and 32D. Now, on to the 1948-1964. I don't know why, but I have a lot more to finish than this one. About 16 of them left, but I got a 1950-S. So it will bring me down to 
15 left. Sorry for being all over the place tonight, guys. Just having a off day today. So we'll go ahead and put that there. These gloves keep on getting stuck, but there we go. That is everything today for the local coin shop pickups, guys. If you guys are going to stop watching the video at this time, I hope you all please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a blessed day. For all of you guys that are sticking around to continue on watching the video, up next will be the Loot Crate. Alright guys, for all you guys who stuck around, I want to thank you guys kindly. Apparently you guys must like these if you're sticking around. I buy these for the shirts. They always come with one shirt and then the collectibles I will show you guys, but I will not open the collectibles and put them together because I hope they are collector items one day. That being said, let's jump right on into this little crate. Uh, I can already tell you I don't like the shirt, but a lot of people like. It's a Rick and Morty exclusive. So with that being said, this will be a work sh under shirt for me. And it's pretty, sometimes the extra large aren't that big, and this one is pretty big. All right, guys. If you guys have HBO and you haven't already checked out this show, I'm not endorsing it or anything, but Westworld is awesome. It's probably one of my second favorite on HBO except for Game of Thrones is my first this is Dolores and Arnold figurines apparently this is a emoji okay. oh, super emo friends I'm not going to put it together but I'm guessing it's these two characters again Luke Crate is awesome Here's the oh, a second thing from Westworld. If you watch it enough, this is called the Maze, I believe. It's a pen, which is pretty cool. Almost tempting to wear it because I actually like this show a lot. Huh. Looks like my wife's going to get a pair of socks. Because she loves Harry Potter. These are actual Warner Brother trademark. Hmm. This is awesome. I mean, I like Harry Potter too, but she loves Harry Potter. So she's going to like this. Here is the X-File Circle of Truth. You know what? I'm going to open this up. I'm going to see what it is. But then I'm going to put it back in the pack. Because I have no clue what it is. There we go. Hmm. Oh, you can see my face a little bit. That's okay, though. I'm not worried about it. Looks like it's a card game of some sort. That's pretty cool. X-File fans might pay money for it, might not. Don't bother me either way.
The only thing I don't like, they used to put like a booklet in that tells you everything and shows you what these things are put together, like the Westworld things. But they don't do that anymore. They give you a card and tells you what you get. An exclusive Rick and Morty t-shirt. Yeah. Exclusive Westworld super emo scenes. Diorama figure, which you sort of see. Harry Potter socks. Wipes get those. Exclusive X Files card game. Not gonna play it because I don't wanna ruin the value of it, but I did open it. But I didn't open up the cards. Exclusive Westworld maze pen. Like I said, the maze. So, that's all in the world of Loot Crate. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For everyone that's stuck around, have a blessed day.